Alright guys, I figured I'd come through here and give a little quick review and demonstration of the uh, Lee turret press. Uh, kind of compare it to the classic turret press. Uh, kind of wish I'd have bought the classic instead of the regular. Mostly uh, just because of the way the prime uh, primers come out <clears throat> on this guy. They kind of just end up stuck in the bottom of your press down in there. I'll show you how this goes. You get that in there. When you deprime your case here, it pops out, falls down there, hits your primer arm, then pops out that little hole there, goes in through here and get stuck in your desk. So I drilled a hole, stuck a trash can there. It works, but the classic version, you have a hole in the bottom of your RAM with a tube that goes on it that collects all your spent primers. Uh, and that's the main thing that I wish I would have had the classic for. Otherwise, it's not really a bad setup. Uh, I'm just using the three die set here. I'm loading 38 specials today. Um, use an accurate number of five powder in my uh, auto disc. I'm using the safety prime. Works pretty well. Uh, but anyway, here's basically just a short run through on how the thing works. Just like any press, load your shell in. Size and D prime. Throw your new primer in there. Prime it. Go up, charge the case. Then grab your bullet. I'm loading a 158 grain semi wad cutter. It's copper plated from Extreme Bullets. I like it pretty well. And ease it up in there so you didn't crack it. And there we go. One completed bullet. Add it to the file there. And it works pretty well. Uh, the only other thing, also an issue with spent primers, sometimes it kicks them clear out to the side here towards my little single stage. Uh, it doesn't seem to do it with the large pistol primers, mostly just small. Um, when I'm running the large primers, the only thing I've noticed is sometimes seating them is kind of tough, but I think that's more of a brass issue than a press issue. And that's how the auto disc works. It just fills that cavity up when you uh, ram it in, runs a deal up in the powder die, and brings that forward. Drop your powder, go down, reset. Case is charged. I don't know if you can see that on the camera very well, but there's our little powder in there. Grab our bullet. Seat and crimp. And we're done. And I'm probably going to eventually get the uh, factory crimp die for 38 special. I use it in the 45 auto. Really love it. Um, but anyway, that's my review and demonstration of the Lee turret press.